everybody. Welcome back. Today I've got another haul for you. This time from Walmart and Ulta. So we're going to get started with the Walmart first. And I picked up lots of good stuff. Well, I think it's good stuff. I hope it's good stuff. Ah! Okay. I know, the bag is a little annoying sounding. Okay, so the first thing I got was this Elf Smudge Pot in Wine Knot. Um, I saw Emily Noel do a review on these sometime last year and she gave them rave reviews but for some reason I've just never gotten around to to testing them and that that is a nice texture and because my nails are a little bit longer and I just put it in there I now have stuff up under my nail ah. um, but that's what, that's what we'll call it so far so we can clean that up no problem. Though this makeup wipe would probably be better. Ah, I hate when I've got makeup under my nails. Okay, anyway, the next thing I got were these Wet n Wild lashes. I didn't know that Wet n Wild did lashes. I knew Elf did, but this is the first time I'm, I've seen them by Wet n Wild. So I'm excited to give these a try. I love the ones by Elf. They're cheap, but they're good. And I picked up this lipstick, also by Wet n Wild. It is Stoplight Red, so 911D. And ah, looks like a really, really nice red. So it's this kind of brightish, orangish red. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna look nice. Oh yeah. Okay, continuing with Walmart. I love testing new eyebrow stuff and I love the Anastasia brow pomade and I love the NYX brow, um, what's well, a pomade, I, they don't call it that. Um, so I, when I saw that Milani now has one, and they've probably had it for a while, but I'm kind of out of the loop, um, I thought, gotta try it. Gotta give it a try, see if it's as good as the NYX and the, uh, Anastasia. I also picked up by Wet n Wild, this is pretty much a Wet n Wild haul <laughs> from Walmart, um, this Calling Your Buff Rosé Natural Coal Eye Pencil. I have the Wonder Pencil by NYX, and it just, I don't know, it, it makes me tear up, and it, it doesn't really show um, when I use it, so I'm hoping with this being cold, that it will, it'll do what the Wonder Pencil is supposed to do. Okay, then by Hard Candy, I picked up this Conceal and Corrector Cream Palette. Um, I don't do a lot of color correcting except for in my um, primer, but I do have you know dark circles and everything. So I thought I would I would give this a try, and um, so yeah, we'll see how that works out for us. And the last couple of things that I got from Walmart were shock of shocks by Wet n Wild. I got these shadow singles in brulee and in, what is this, bleached de lave. So basically sparkle. So I'm going to give these a try. Um, I've heard that these singles are really good. I have the, I have three of the eight pan palettes by Wet n Wild and I'm absolutely in, in love with them. I, I think they're just the most wonderful things on the planet and are right up there with your higher end shadows. So I'm hoping that these singles are pretty much the same formula. Okay, so that's everything from Walmart. Let's move on to Ulta. Because, you know, you, know, you, you can't go in there and get just one or two things. I walked in there to, okay, Let's face it, I walked in there expecting to spend a lot of money. Because right now, if you are platinum, 
because um, it says it's a platinum perk. So if you are platinum, check your email because you might have a notification of five times the points for Too Faced. So that's what I was after today. I was after Too Faced, but of course, once you get into Ulta, it just sucks you in. It, it, it's, it's just, it's the mothership number two. Sephora being number one, and it will remain number one so long as they carry NARS and Kat Von D. I'm sorry, I'm a NARS whore, and I love Kat and her cosmetics, and so until and or unless Ulta carries those, they're going to be mothership number two. But they're still a mothership for our people. You, you and me, we're a people. We're a tribe. These are our places. Okay, so anyway, so I went in looking for the peanut butter and jelly palette and they had one left and there was this teenage girl just kind of wandering around just kind of running her fingers over things didn't really look like she was looking for anything and then she saw me go for this and she immediately snatched it up and I was like okay okay I, I respect you got to it first Okay. So then she's wandering around looking at other things. Again, just kind of running her hands over things. Not really picking up and playing. Just doing that I'm a bored, angsty teenager thing. Carrying the palette around with her. And she kept watching me. And I know, I know after I left and checked out that she probably put that palette back. Because she just seemed like that kind of person, you know, you know. Anyway, I asked the one of the girls wandering around, you know, you finding everything okay? Can I help you? Except for she looked like she wanted to go the other way when she saw me. I think I shopped there too much. Anyway, um, I asked her if they had any more of this, and she's like, well, you know, let me look in the back, but oh, let me look in the cupboard first. <laughs> so she did, and they had one left in the drawer. So that is mine. Boom. There you go, little teenager. I hope you enjoy your palette if you actually bought it. But I cannot wait to play with this because this purple, this purple right here is gorgeous. This purple is life. This, this, this is just, yeah, that is a gorgeous purple. That is just, yeah. So there you go, little girl. You didn't stop me. I know, I know, I'm a grown woman. I should be above this, but all is fair in love and makeup. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So while I was also there, something that I've been on the fence about, and because it's five times the points, so of course that's what pushed me over, is this totally cute palette, also by Too Faced. And I swatched it in the store, and let me tell you, these four shadows right here, I'm not gonna swatch them right now. Um, oh my gosh, I am just in love. And this is another palette that I cannot wait to play with. And yeah, it's just, I, I, since they announced it, I've been looking at it on Instagram and on Twitter and on the site and at Ulta.com. And yeah, but five times the points. I had to buy it. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but then again, five times the points. Those add up. Okay, so while I was also at the Too Faced, I picked up another melted lipstick, because if you've been watching me, you know that I've recently fallen in love with these, and I've got a couple of them, and this one is in Sellout. They have one, they have a color there that I'm drooling over. It's called Lady Balls. <laughs> yeah, I know. What am I, 12? Anyway. I swatched it, I fell in love with it. Every time I see it online, I'm in love with it. And wouldn't you know, that was the only, the only melted matte that was sold out. They didn't have any in the drawer. They didn't have any in the display. It was sold out. Yeah, they didn't even have a spare tester to sell me. It's like, ugh. Yeah, so we got this one. And it is just a gorgeous neutral. Um, it's a little bit darker, a little bit more brown, a little bit more beigey than what I'm wearing now, which is Child Star. Um, so yeah, I, I had to get it. I was gonna get it anyway. But I know I've said that a lot, but that equals money, people. Money. 
that you can spend on other things. Yeah, I, I won't even tell you what, what points I have because, yeah. Okay, so another thing that I recently saw and fell in love with and just absolutely had to snatch up to get and try, also by Too Faced, if I can find it, it's in here somewhere. These sketch markers. When I first saw them, I was like, ugh, colored liners. Okay, whatever. But the more I see Too Faced post on, on Instagram on these, especially there was a look posted, oh, I want to say it was this past weekend, um, using this color, which is, what color are you? Come on, tell me what color you are. Give me a color name. Seriously? Smoky Emerald. That's what it is. Smoky Emerald. They used this. And I was just like, that's it. Gotta buy it. Got to buy it. So, I bought it. So, yeah. Totally stoked to give that one a try. And that is it for the Too Faced end of things. So then I wandered over to the drugstore side of the store. And this is where my money adds up. I, I swear it is. Well, okay, no, because, you know, the high-end side is, well, it's expensive. It's high-end. Anyway, I have recently fallen in love with Makeup Revolution. Um, I am wearing the Mermaid's palette right now. If you want to see how I did this look, then tune in tomorrow for um, the demonstration on this. And I have the Neutrals versus Neutrals. There is a Get Ready With Me where I used that. I'll put the link below. And then, of course, the Mermaid's palette. And I, I'm just absolutely in love with this brand now. So I had to pick up the Unicorns Unite palette. And I know they have to do this packaging, but it's so annoying when you're trying to do a haul video and then you've got to open this stuff and then, yeah, come here, plastic. Get off of there. You are standing between me and makeup be goodness. That's right. I said makeup be goodness. It had to happen. Okay, so aside from the pretty... Uh, holographic box catching my attention because you know it's purple and it's holographic and and it's purple and of course the name unicorns unite okay hello you cannot name a palette that and not have it catch my attention and not have me stop and go what so my one complaint about makeup revolution these palettes are so freaking hard to open just so freaking hard okay sponge applicator. Bye-bye. Look at that. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. So that's Unicorns Unite. And then I also picked up, this one is just the 32 piece uh, palette in Affirmation. So let's, seriously, seriously, Makeup Revolution, you and me and have it out here. Okay, I know you want to protect your merchandise. You don't want people messing with it. You don't want those, for lack of a better word, assholes who go into drugstores and think that they can play with the stuff like they do the high-end stuff at Sephora and Ulta or who are just jackasses and want to mess with stuff. And you want to make sure that when I go to actually pay money for this, that the product is going to be pristine and everything. I understand that, and I thank you for that. But, come on! Yeah, so this is just another palette of mattes and shimmers and satins in kind of muted, pastel-y colors. So I don't think, given how much I love color, that this will be a palette that um, will be a standalone for me, but it will definitely augment and um, offset the other palettes, like the unicorn one or the mermaids one. Yes. Okay. Also, by Makeup Revolution, I picked up 
uh, my friend Danica, hi Danica, um, has been raving about these lip lacquers. And so I was like, okay, I have to give them a try. I love my liquid lipsticks. I love my Kat Bundy. I love my Too Faced. I love my Maybelline. Let's give Makeup Revolution a try. So I picked up this one, which is in, I just dropped the box, hold on. Okay, so this one is in Attract, and it is this gorgeous red. Holy smokes, people, do you see that? Look at that, oh my gosh. Okay, and then this one is in more than I could give, and it's just a neutral one. Oh my gosh, Makeup Revolution, you and your packaging. Oh, at some point in time, I'm going to have to kick your ass if I didn't love it so much. Um, yeah, so anyway, so this one is more of a, a light neutral. And let's see here. Okay, that one's kind of along the lines of Child Star that I'm wearing. Yeah. About the same color. A little bit lighter. But pretty much the same. Gonna love it. Gonna love it. Okay, I'm trying to go fast here because I, I bought a lot because I can't shop and not buy a lot. So I'm not going to open anything else. Um, but I picked up two more of these Color Tattoo Chrome Eyes. This one is in... Uh, okay, I am old and I'm blind and I'm not wearing my contacts or my glasses because, you know, whatever. So this one is in Sharp Purple. And this one is in bronze sheen. Um, I've got the emerald and the sapphire and kind of a, the whitish one, kind of whitish crystal, I think cashmere is what it's called, and absolutely in love with it. I'm wearing the sapphire today. Again, check out the video tomorrow um, or the next day. So just be on the lookout for a uh, Makeup Revolution demo with the Mermaid palette. Just, just be on the lookout for that. Okay, I also picked up the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Electric Blue because it's just about the only color that I don't have. And I figured, I'm there, why not? And because I just got that colored felt tip liner by Too Faced, I have to compare it to something drugstore. So I got the NYX one in Cobalt Blue. Can't wait to give that a try. Um, I also picked up the Ulta ultra slim brow pencil because again I love testing brow products and I'm in I just absolutely adore my Anastasia brow wiz and I've recently fallen in love with the NYX slim pencil so I have to give this a try okay and the last things that I bought were three lip liners from NYX um, these are the slide on lip liners and these are in vintage Stockholm and Alien, which is black. And if you watched my, did I post it? No, I didn't post it. Anyway, because um, it was an absolute catastrophe. But I had tried the J-Cat black lip pencil and it was just a nightmare. It was dry, it dragged on my lips, it was patchy, and then to boot, it was hard to remove. So yeah, no. But we're going to give NYX a try because I've never had a NYX lip liner that I did not love. So I'm hoping. Big hopes for Alien here. Big hopes. Okay, so that is my Walmart and Ulta haul from today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching all of the goodies that I got. Let me know if you guys have hauled anything recently, what you've fallen in love with, what you're playing with lately. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more haul videos or any other content that I create, hit that mystical, magical subscribe button up in the corner. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything you'd like to know about these products, any products you think I should try, or anything that you guys have hauled right 
date recently or in in love with? Leave that in the comment section below. Again, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah!